It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another edition of the Daily Dog. I am thankful that you are hanging out with me today on a Friday. We made it to the end of another work week. Unbelievable. <laughs> we deserve a little bit of a break. And today we're going to be listening to a great song. So I am thankful that you are here. The song that we're going to be doing today is called Million Town, and it is from the band Frost. Now, I am unfamiliar with with Frost and their work, but there are several people who have been bugging me to do music by them uh, for weeks now, and I want to lift up a few of them. Uh, on my Patreon specifically, uh, Master Manoob, uh, Disciple of Prague, Tunamated, uh, Rock Debt, and uh, Tom, <laughs> among others. Thank you all for suggesting uh, music by Frost. Uh, Frost is a British group, and apparently they're made up of, of uh, talented musicians from other bands, and this is sort of, a, uh, I think, a side gig for a bunch of uh, these guys. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to hear what they have in store for us. Uh, Million Town is the title track from their debut album. It was released in 2006. But we're going to be looking at a studio performance video that they did uh, back in January of 2013. Uh, some of the guys in the band, they got together and they recorded uh, their classic track uh, in a studio and they filmed it. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. On this particular recording, Jim Godfrey on keyboards and vocals, John Mitchell on guitar and vocals, Nathan King on bass and vocals, and Craig Blundell on uh, drums. So as I'm reading into this, the lyrics look dark, y'all. This is like some sinister stuff. Uh, Million Town, as I, as I read in, is based or inspired by, uh, based on or inspired by the book The Apprentice by Gordon Houghton. And I found a synopsis of this particular uh, novel. I am not familiar with it. The novel came out in 1999. Uh, the synopsis, Hades is dead, and the agency needs a replacement, uh, a new apprentice to carry on its good work. After a vote, corpse number 72, 18, 9, 11, 12, 13, 49 is selected and promptly yanked from his grave to serve a seven-day trial sentence. Each day, our hapless narrator is to assist death, uppercase death, in the killing of of one unfortunate soul, but as he encounters each victim and as he begins to grasp the functions of death and the other three modern day horsemen, he begins to unlock strange memories of his own prior life. It is not until he understands the backhanded politics of the four horsemen's run down row house and the sinister circumstances of his predecessor's demise that he can recognize his true purpose in life. <laughs> so this is a person who is dead, who is drafted to replace Hades as one of the four members of the, uh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And, um, yeah, <laughs> so that is the, uh, context by which we meet this piece. So, uh, I am, fascinated to, to listen to this. Uh, this is Million Town by Frost, and this is their uh, 2013 um, updated sort of live studio recording. Let's take a look. What's nice I can see his hands. We're in F. Flat six, flat seven, back to one. That's a minor four chord to a major one chord. Lovely. I like that they're using a real piano. My worm cathedral, a worm cathedral. Your infestation. These little workers build me an empire. Your loyalty, I bowed out my body. That minor four to a major one has an eerie sound to it, doesn't it? And then you add the flats coming back up the, the, the flat six and flat seven to that. Time. 
times The aftertaste of past digestion Get what you can now Good stuff, hard to find My bitter name I wonder what our um, protagonist uh, did in his former life to deserve this sentence of being forced, maybe, or invited to work with the Four Horsemen. It's an A flat and a G and an F in that main little motive. So I think this is the second section. This song is in six parts. That first part was called One Underground. And I believe this one is called Abra Cadaver. They should have drafted me to be the guy who goes, hoo -ah. That was a cool little bit. Ooh, soul. Ray. Ray. May. B. That was an interesting little... Uh, motive, melody motive over the top of that chord. never do that where I was playing keyboards uh, like one keyboard with one hand and a different keyboard with another. It's too complicated for me. Mad respect uh, to guys that can do that. There's that melody. bit of pacing here to set up this next section I think. With the cross upon the wall I was blinded by it all. Now the face is left behind there are no friends of mine. Wow. The cross upon the wall I was blinded by it all. The dogma of, of religion? Now the face is left behind, there are no friends of mine. Wow. Rage is part of your design, but I won't play this time. say the music sounds a little bit more upbeat and optimistic than I was expecting with these lyrics. Because these lyrics are, uh, you could be interpreted as quite sinister, quite dark. <laughs> I 
I love it when he looked at the camera, he's like, yeah, something cool's happening. This is interesting. Seven, eight. That's a chromatic third relationship, y'all. That's a D major seven chord to a B flat major seven or major nine. Why do you alive? This is the third section the called The Only Survivors. You lose your way. Ghost of yesterday. And before you know. The F changes from an F sharp when it's the D chord to an F natural when it's the B flat chord. And the high note is an A, which is in both chords. Cool. A neat little groove in 7 8. an optimistic lyric. Being a major chord with a major seven in an optimistic yada. Right? You're inside the lighthouse. Is the lighthouse metaphorical? didn't have time to read the novel to get read in on this. The lyrics are a bit obtuse. sounds the extra the added sounds are interesting this is the fourth song called core or the fourth section called core 
This is cool. You know, y'all, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Where are we? We're at about 11 and a half minutes. Um, I'm going to call an audible. Uh, y'all, th- we're, we're about halfway through with this track. And I'm enjoying it immensely. Uh, but I think I think I want to play along. I, I think I could could uh, could decipher a little bit more. It'll be easier for me to to kind of show you some of the stuff that they're doing, the interesting voicings I think that they're doing if I'm at my keyboard. So I am going to pause and get reset up, and I'm going to go back here and uh, we're going to finish the song out. Uh, this the fourth, fifth, and sixth sections of this um, with me uh, over at the keyboard. So I will see you in a second. Okay, I am over here at the keyboard. Apologies for the interruption. We're going to continue with Million Town. This is around the beginning, I think, of Core, the fourth section, and uh, let's let's hit it. Here we go. Take me over, harder, colder. Wow. Back to this section again. I think it started this movement for this section. <laughs> That's a B flat chord for That's a fantastical sort of melody. It's kind of flowing in and around. We're still kind of... Interesting. Yeah, those chromatic thirds. B flat, down to F sharp. A flat. Or I should say G flat to A flat up to B flat. <laughs> and I think this is going to be the the next section. Huh. Hmm. Wow. It's a great sound. Kind of like a synthesizer a little flute sound that the guitarist was playing and then he vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> and left us. That was cool. Again, okay, the, the chosen few. The this is section five. They're still in no kind of B flat. Down to A flat. Faces move around the room. Their voices cut into the gloom. They're not listening. What's that shadow moving? E. Is that a light sharp. in here? Won't someone e. please come and free me and he? Ah, B 
flat. It goes away from her very quickly. That becomes four to one. And they're now in F sharp. That same melody. It's a solo the key. Down to do. Do, do, do. Over flat six, flat seven, flat six. Four to four. Minor four to one. I watch them turning to things that might have been These fatal days corrupted by your own perfection This is too underground, this is where we're in It's sort of nothing more to a recap say. from the first section But they're in F sharp this time instead of F natural Where they were at the beginning Thirds. F sharp, D. Turns minor. They're done with the lyrics unless they repeat something. And there's a decent amount of the song to go. So stay tuned. Still enough for everything. becomes 4 to 1 in A. And that becomes 4 to 1 in E. Minor 5. That's, we did that before. Fa, mi, do, over E to Fa, mi, do, like in D. No. <laughs> it's so different.
Lydian Forest, right? They've got that race fourth that keeps happening throughout all of this stuff. And that's a, I regard that as an optimistic sound, uh, as one that seeks to, to move up and, and out of a mired situation. And it seems interesting that they use that sound with these lyrics. Singing out of the ninth of that chord. Getting louder. They're in F sharp. Got a half step. Got another half step. Oh, another half step. That's the interesting part. I heard that before. Yeah, F sharp. F minor. Seven, and that's like an E chord. And then back up to the F minor seven chord. <laughs> I should stop trying to guess and just react. Big time instrumental section. I think they just left the lyrics behind and they're just jamming out. Minor third, toggle. This is enjoyable to watch, y'all. I hope you're having a good time. Sounds like an ending, an E, but this, there's still some time left on the track, okay? They're not done. Back to that motive. Uh, Over an E. on that rip. Ooh. So, more of the same, but just faster notes over the top of it. Just groove it in E. And they're done. Totally cool. Wow. Well, that was fun. I I, I almost caught up or, or was able to keep up with that. Um, wow. Frost, the band. Like I said, that's the first time I have heard this band and their work. And um, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the vocals uh, and, and the power of, of their, their vocals. But boy the uh the the musical content in that was really really worthy of our time it kept me on my toes for the whole time uh the one thing that i keep coming back to though is that th this story uh or what it's based on is quite dark i mean we're talking about the four horsemen of the apocalypse and somebody who is in a grave is 
kind of brought back to uh, be tried out as one of the four members of the Four Horsemen. And um, yeah, the, the music just doesn't seem overtly connected to that. You know, I'm a person that as a composer, I write mainly texted music. So I'm always trying to figure out what sort of musical uh, ideas, motives that I can craft that in my mind reflect the the intrinsic meaning of, of what the text is talking about. And a lot of the things that they've been doing with uh, in this song, especially with those uh, like those uh, fa mi do, right? Then ya mi do. Those are force that resolve down by, by half step to a major third of a, of a chord. And as I'm thinking about, um, you know, a, a corpse arisen from the grave a, a, and assisting the four horsemen, that's not the sound that I think about. But um, nonetheless, it was very interesting to uh, to listen to. I um, the, the, what I'll leave you with. I found a, a a review of this album and this track online, and I think that that it's an interesting thought for us to for me to leave you with. It's, it says, Million Town is more about escaping self-delusion than about a broken relationship. Sure, this broken love is the setting for this trip through the mind, but Frost clearly wants us to learn to break down the walls that we build in our hearts, minds, and actions. We do this with so many things, too. It's more than a relationship issue. We have to learn to put things in their place. What or who is really worthy of such devotion? Not even our feelings of value are worth the idolatry that we sometimes erect. In the end, there is freedom in letting go. Uh, so I, I think it's uh, just an exposition on, I mean, uh, this uh, soul is in this circumstance, but they're really thinking about the, the self-discovery and sort of the, um, the, the id and the ego uh, of this uh, particular person and how they can get right with themselves to avoid getting usurped or used by other people. Um, in the end, I'm not sure exactly what what uh, this means. <laughs> if y'all have been fans of Frost or this song for a long time, let me know in the comments. I I'm a little uh, uh, grasping at straws here to try to find a bow to wrap this up. <laughs> but, uh, it's it's an interesting piece of music, and these guys are obviously quite talented and proficient at their at their instruments. I thought that this particular studio version was really neat for us to get to see them doing their thing, at least in a controlled environment. So fun stuff. Uh, I didn't plan on coming over here to the to the keyboard uh, for this one, but uh, as I was listening to it, I thought, you know. Uh, it's a Friday, uh, call an audible and come on over. So I am thankful to have been over here and thanks for hanging out with me today. Wonderful stuff. We've had a great week of music and next week we've got more coming your way. So stay with us next week for more editions of the Daily Doug.